Today we compare two prominent drawing applications, one that rose to popularity recently and the other a sibling of one of the most popular digital art programs to ever exist. Let's jump right into it. Rising in popularity in the mid-2010s, Prograde is now one of the most popular drawing applications in the art sphere. Initially released in 2011, it only started gaining traction in 2016, reaching the height of its popularity in 2018. That aside, let's properly define the software. Procreate is a raster graphics editor. It is used mainly for illustration and its subgenres, drawing and painting. The app is also used for other things, such as basic animation, digital scrapbooking, lettering, calligraphy, and very recently, 3D model painting. Procreate is only available on iPad and iPhone, with no plan on moving to Android, for the moment, that is. It can be purchased one time for about $10. Following Procreate's rise in popularity, Adobe's interest in developing a drawing app for iOS devices peaked, seeing how much potential they had. Shortly after, they did just that and released Fresco. Fresco is a raster graphics editor used for drawing and painting. It was initially developed for iPad but is now available on both iOS devices and Windows. Fresco is free, but there's a but. The base version of the software is free to use, however, you have to sign up or into the app to be able to use it to begin with. You can also subscribe to the premium version to get the full range of tools and features. The premium version costs 9.99 USD a month after a 30 days free trial. Procreate has arguably one of the best interfaces out there. It's minimalistic and functional in a dark gray color with white detailing. It has a single toolbar at the top that has almost every tool and feature. How it works is that it has nine icons. Four are on the left side, next to the word gallery, which takes you back to the starting screen of the app. And on the right side, you'll find the five remaining icons. The icons are in order, a wrench, a magic wand, a squiggly line, and a cursor. And for the right side, we have a brush icon, a hand, an eraser, a layers icon, and a circle with a color dependent on which color is selected. On the left side of the app, there's a mini bar in which there are two sliders for changing the brush's size and opacity. Between the sliders is a square that triggers the color picker, and beneath them are the undo and redo buttons. It goes without saying that the center is where you'll find the canvas. The panels that you can trigger by clicking on the icons are in a slick design and interact with the user in a seamless way, making for an app that has a very professional feel. Fresco's interface is as simple as Procreate, or almost. It has three bars, one on the top called the title bar, with different miscellaneous options, such as undo and redo, a button to go to the home screen, saving the canvas, zoom level display, and so on. On the left side, we have the toolbar with different icons for the brushes, eraser, smudge tool, moving the canvas about, color picker, shape tool, text tool, and so on and so forth. On the right side, we have other options and panels. We have the layers panel, add in a layer, a layer properties panel, and so on and so forth. Fresco is quite intuitive, although lacks the minimalism that Procreate has. While Procreate tends to keep its tools under the hood, albeit properly labeled and well-designed, Fresco is more open. Its panels and extra options are out there for the viewer to see, without spending too much time seeking them out. Procreate has a variety of brushes that are customizable. You can make your own and even download ones from other creators. This versatility and customizability of brushes allows you to use them for painting, drawing, doing calligraphy, and lettering. Procreate also offers many other tools, such as different types of grids. You have a 2D isometric and perspective, for instance. These grids are also customizable. And what is a digital art software without its effects? Procreate offers many, such as Noise, Sharpen, Glitch, Liquify, and many others. Since using a reference is a must when drawing and painting, among other things, Procreate offers a cool feature of a hovering window where you can add a reference. Adding a small preview of your drawing is also possible. As a character artist, nailing proportions might be difficult, 
but instead of redrawing the whole thing, you can easily use the transformation options in Procreate to fix that. These transformation options are uniform, freeform, distorted, or wrapped transformation. You can't say given software is a digital art software if selection is impossible. So of course, Procreate has that. It can be done in a number of ways, with pre-made shapes or in a free form, or with an automatic detection system. I'll be limited by your hardware's capacity. Layers are, of course, available within the app. Procreate does this to make sure you don't run into freezing or any lag or some kind of other bug. All in all, Procreate is an app equipped with everything you need to have as a 2D artist, or if you want to dip your toes in the world of 2D animation or 3D painting. Just like Procreate, Fresco is known for its brushes. After all, it's a sibling to Photoshop, arguably the most popular digital art program known for its good brushes. Fresco has 50 Photoshop brushes, coupled with what is known as live brushes, which are basically brushes that mimic traditional brushes. For instance, these live brushes include a watercolor brush and an oil brush. They both have their own special way of interacting with the canvas, as well as interacting with strokes. They do so in a way that is just like their real counterparts. Just like Procreate, in Fresco, your brushes are fully customizable, so you can make the perfect brush for you. In addition to these awesome raster brushes, Fresco also offers you vector brushes as well. So keep this in mind if you're a graphic designer. Another cool tool in the app is the Liquify tool, which can be used in conjunction with the Magic Wand or other selection tools to make interesting effects. And of course, the software has your run-of-the-mill layers, motion tools, text options, transformation tools, and so forth. All of the above-mentioned features are free. If you get the premium version of the app, it will expand your brushes library to more than a thousand brushes and lets you import brushes among many other things. Combining popularity, ease of use, and simplicity of interface, Procreate wins the cake for its fine learning curve. It's almost as if it's not even there. You have not only the developer's guides and tutorials, but also a big community with tons of tutorials on their side as well. Fresco's interface can be a little more cramped than Procreate, but they are somewhat the same on that level. Fresco also somewhat rivals Procreate's popularity, as it's part of the Adobe products. It has gained some traction from day one. All of this to say that Fresco does also have a good community around it with a bunch of tutorials, tips, and guides. Adobe is also known for their great documentation when it comes to their products, and Fresco is no different. It's time to decide which to get. Well, if you already have the Creative Cloud plan or the Photoshop plan, we definitely recommend you get Fresco as it comes packaged with those already. So you won't be paying any additional money for it. And it's pretty similar to Procreate. If not, go with Procreate. It's a lot cheaper to get for the full software with very similar features and tools. Other considerations other than the price would be if you want to do 3D or animation. You're better off going with Procreate. If you need to work on vectors and be able to send your work to Adobe Illustrator seamlessly, the logical thing to do is to go for Fresco. All in all, think about what you need most from the app at hand. Consider all the points we have discussed as well as check other videos and do research and that should help you find out which app can be the best for you specifically. And that was that for our video. We hope you liked it and found out more about each app. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. With that being said, thank you for watching as always and see you next time.